Ariel Hawani in Houston for UFC 247 alongside Caitlin Chukagin, who meets Valentina Shevchenko this Saturday night for the UFC Women's Flyweight Championship live, of course, on pay-per-view. Now, this is uh, the very beginning of the media availability. I looked around and I said, I have to go to Caitlin first because I do not want to feel the wrath. And what's the first thing that you say to me? Oh, of course, you come to me, you found me. You had to put me on a stage up here so you could see me and find me. Well, you know, now that you're fighting for a title, yeah, yeah. Got the stakes a are a little bit. different. Yeah, okay. You're still holding on to that grudge, huh? no, but I respect it out yeah. of you. I just like to pick on you a little. Does this feel big? Does it feel different? Um, not you me know. talking to you here. I'm talking about <laughs> no, fight week. Like, honestly, you know, it just feels like the same thing. Another fight, I feel like every fight I have is the biggest fight, so I always think it's a big deal, and, and it is, but, you know, it, it just feels the same as any other fight, which I think is good. <laughs> Absolutely. You spoke to uh, Mark Ramundi of ESPN about, like, the pre-fight nerves, mm -hmm. and you told him, which I, I, I appreciate the fact that you were so open about mm -hmm. when you're on the, uh, the shuttle bus after landing, you're like, oh, maybe we'll get into a car accident and yeah. this whole thing will be over. Did you think that this time? Uh, no, usually that's like on the way to the arena. Oh, okay. That way, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, well, maybe this bus will get in an accident. No one gets hurt, but like no one can compete or something happens to the arena and like the event gets canceled. But yeah, I was like, you know, like 95% joking, but you know, there's a part of you like, oh, well then, you know, maybe the event will be canceled, you know, but obviously you don't want that. But in this particular case, like your life can drastically change, right? If you win this fight, you become champion, huge upset over, you know, a very accomplished and respected fighter. Have you allowed yourself to think about what life would be like on Sunday if you pull this off? Um, you know, I, I feel like I get that question a lot, but, you know, I'm so happy with my life. You know, I love fighting and, you know, I worked my whole life for this opportunity. So I don't want to say that it doesn't mean that much to me because it 100% does. But, I mean, fighting is just one part of my life and it doesn't really define who I am. So, you know, with the title shot or not, you know, with fighting, without fighting, like my life's so happy. Like this is just a cherry on top of it. Do you get annoyed when everyone seems to be talking to her about Amanda Nunes and super fights and just sort of dismissing you and looking past you. Does that bother you? Not so much. I mean, it's expected. She's she's a dominant champ. I'm a huge underdog. You know, no one's really expecting me to win this fight. You know, I am and my coaches are, which is all that's important. So, you know, that's kind of expected. But um, if anything, that just will make the, the win even greater and bring more attention to me when I beat her. What's the key as far as the way you start this fight? Like, is there something that you want to do in the first couple minutes to dictate the pace? Um, you, honestly, it's just what I want to do is just stay disciplined and stick to my game plan the entire 25 minutes. It's easy to kind of have a game plan and things you want to do and do that in like one or two exchanges. But what's really important, what sets like champions apart from, you know, the rest of the division is being able to stick to a game plan. And if it doesn't go right, go right back to it and stick to that for a whole 25 minutes if need to be. So I just had to stay disciplined and focus the entire time. Especially at 125, she has looked pretty darn unbeatable when you watch her when you watch tape on her do you see holes in her in her game and if so what holes are, are are coming out absolutely I mean that's one good thing about you know fighting a champ that's been dominant there's a lot of a lot of film on her she's fought a lot of different opponents so you get to kind of see how she does events different different people different styles and what they do what works what doesn't work um you know I can't go too much into detail about like what I see because uh, you know that's obviously part of our game plan. But definitely, um, you know, that's the advantage of being able to study film. Obviously, film is one thing and the fights different, but it's a good thing to base our, our game plan off of. Do you think that um, her presence and intimidation is a part of her aura, like that that people even going into her fights because she is so almost stoic and strong and focused that people get intimidated by her? And is that something that you have had to work on going into this particular fight because she does have this sort of air of invincibility surrounding her right yeah she's you know she's great at that and I think that that for some girls you know that are fighting her that might affect them like how she you know she's very straight you know not smiling strict you know she she's got that demeanor about her and that that's her thing I think that's just kind of who she is and obviously I'm kind of like the complete opposite of that but um you know I've been like this my whole life I've fought girls are you know I was 15 years old fighting in the Golden Gloves fighting like you know girls that were 30 with like tattoos all over like my mom would take me to the fights and like I was fighting girls with like boxing gloves tattoos on them and I was like oh my god so I'm used to it it doesn't bother me I think that's one advantage that I have is I'm mentally strong I think some other people start when they get to this big stage and they start hearing every all the media and everything that they say they start doubting themselves and going into the fight 
doubting yourself even just one percent you're at a huge disadvantage especially against a very strong opponent like valentina if when you win on saturday will you dance in the cage like she does but yes. with your own yes. spin um i think i have a little bit of a different style but yeah for sure i'll de definitely dance and your poor dog you have to put him in the kennel why can't you take him with you Dude, everyone wants to kill me yeah. for putting my dog in a dog crate yeah. i was like my husband comes home two hours later. We have a dog walker. It's a dog crate, and that's what it's meant for, to put a dog in. You got some heat after this on Embedded? Oh, my God. I got, like, death threats from people saying I t torture my dog. I was like, by putting him in a dog crate. I was like, then we just saw a video today of someone, that, like a camera that didn't have their dog in a dog crate, knocked a lamp over, and the whole place went on fire. So I was like, my dog lives a very good life, and he's super happy. So, yeah, we got that covered. Why not bring him fight yeah. week? He um he has, doesn't have the best cardio. I don't know how he would be in the in the in the airplane and stuff. But uh, yeah, he's at he's at dog camp right now. He's having fun. Completely oblivious to all this madness going on. You come home regardless of a win or a vict or a loss. Same old, right? Life life will go on. Absolutely. I mean, I'll I'll go home Sunday with that belt. You know, order vodka pizza from somewhere somewhere good in Long Island and have that and a couple white claws on the couch with my dog and my husband, and we'll be happy. Well, good luck. Looking forward to it. And thank you for the time. Thank, thank you for you. giving us this thank time on, on Media Day. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's Aria Hawani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.